sommar. One of my favorite days of the year. Ja, det har vi. Vi kommer få smältran. A day we celebrate traditionally with friends in a small village called Rittene on the countryside. Around Midsummer's Eve, the Scandinavian people celebrated the lightest day of the year, the summer solstice. In the most northern parts of Sweden, you can experience midnight sol, midnight sun, when the sun doesn't even go down. On Midsummer, we dress the Midsommarsdag, maple, in leaves and flowers. We dress it to actually celebrate spring because this tradition was usually in May but got moved to midsummer because of the difficulties in finding leaves and flowers in May. We then sing and dance around it to some playful, childish songs about frogs and children. Women and children, if they want to, wear flower crowns in their hair. The instrument that our friend is playing on is called nickelharpa, key harp, and is an old Swedish instrument usually played in Swedish folk music, and only a few knows how to play them today. <laughs> Nordic people have always been very dependent on the weather since we have such harsh winters, and therefore most of our celebrations and traditions are connected to the nature in some way. And as with almost every ancient Nordic tradition that has survived to this day, this tradition was embraced by the church since they wanted to change Sweden from being pagan to Christian. The church made this celebration midsummer. Traditionally, you feast on new potatoes with dill, herring and nubbe, or snaps as it's also called, to this snaps using a snapsusa. We usually also eat eggs, salmon, asparagus and pies, and also of course Swedish strawberries, which are the sweetest strawberries in the world. Usually we play some games as well, and here we shoot arrows, we throw axes, play charades and play coop. I really love this place, it's like entering an old time in Sweden. The houses are fall red, the floors creaks and wildflowers are everywhere. We then always go for a swim in the evening sun, and usually the swim is all naked, or at least the men are, but this year we went a bit earlier and there were therefore a lot of other people at the beach, so we kept our swim clothes on. <laughs> the midsummer night is said to have magical forces, and there are many ways to awaken the magic. One of the most used today is picking seven different kind of flowers in silence and traditionally jump over seven jashkodar, which is an old type of fence, and then put the flowers under your pillow before going to sleep. If you do this, you will dream about the one you will marry during the night. I did this tradition every midsummer when I was a child. Usually the evening continues after the swim, but since we had to fly to Norway to a wedding the day after, we had to end the day after eating some lovely grilled dinner. Slut på midsommaraktion i år. 